Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a Biscoff fault line cake. So we're going to start off with some cake. So I've got some brown sugar sponge. So this is 8 inch cakes and if you want the details of the ingredients and quantities they will be in the description box below. And I'm going to level off, I just leveled off one of my cake layers because they were actually quite flat this time. Um, but if you need to level them off you just want to start slowly around the edge making your incision and going slowly towards the centre. Once you've done that, I'm going to simple syrup them. So this is one part sugar, one part water. Mine is really black here because I use brown sugar to add to that caramelly flavour. And you just want to boil that and then cool it and then I'm going to brush that all over the tops. And then I'm going to flip over my cakes and also brush it on the bottoms. To make some delicious biscuit buttercream, I'm going to take some Swiss meringue buttercream and I'm going to add about three or four spoonfuls of Biscoff spread and just stir that through. And even if you don't make this cake, just make this buttercream because it is amazing. Honestly, the nicest buttercream I've ever made. Just for ease, I'm going to spoon that into a piping bag. I've not got a nozzle or anything, just so I can pipe it between my layers. Now we're going to start assembling this cake. So I've got a turntable with a non-slip mat and a cake board and I'm going to add a splodge of buttercream and then my first layer of cake. Then pipe rings of buttercream on that and then use an offset spatula to sort of spread that out towards the edge. To really bump up that Biscoff flavour I've got some more Biscoff spread in a piping bag and I'm going to pipe that between the layers. In hindsight I probably would have melted this a little bit before putting it in my piping bag just so it was a bit more melty. Then you just want to repeat those layers with more cake, more Biscoff buttercream and more Biscoff spread until you get to the top. If you're loving this video make sure you hit the thumbs up button and you can subscribe so you can see more videos like this. Once you get to the top you want to flip your top layer of cake over so that it's upside down. Then taking a small offset spatula you're going to just push all that buttercream on the outside push it up against the cake and then add a splodge of buttercream on top and using your spatula spread that out towards the edge. Then I'm going to sort of fold that lip of buttercream down the side using my small palette knife and spread that all around the edge. Now you might need some more buttercream on your cake so I'm just taking a dollop and just spreading that onto the cake and spreading it out. Then taking a cake scraper, so this is just a piece of plastic, really cheap, just running that around the cake to smooth off the sides and then using my spatula to pull that top lip of buttercream into the centre. Now to do the biscuits, I'm going to take my biscuits and I'm going to sort of break them up and sort of cut them on sharp edges and you want to sort of line them up around that middle of the cake and you want to line them up so it looks like they're breaking apart so it's not just random bits of biscuit make it look like it was one thing that's sort of breaking apart. Now you may find that your buttercream is tacky enough to stick your biscuits straight on even if it's been in the fridge if not you can add another layer of buttercream or just a little bit of water it should help them stick. Now you guys seem to love the last fault line cake that I made so if you want to see some more fault line cakes let me know in the comments and if you don't want to see fault line cakes let me know what else you would like to see. So once you have stuck those biscuits all the way around the middle of the cake it is time to add some buttercream so I'm going to take some more of that buttercream in a piping bag again and I'm going to pipe sort of like a wiggly, or it doesn't even need to be wiggly really, just a line around the bottom of the cake and you're going to do exactly the same thing on the top above your biscuits. And you want to make sure that the gap between these two lines is quite large because when we take our bench scraper now and spread it out it's going to sort of push the two buttercreams together so the gap is going to be smaller so make sure it's quite big to start off with. And you're just going to take your bench scraper and just sort of scrape around that buttercream making it flat. Now you may find that you need to take some more buttercream and sort of add it on here and there to make sure that it's all level and if you do just use your piping bag and just pipe it on or you could spread it on if you don't have a piping bag. And again spread that out with your cake scraper before taking your offset spatula and pulling that little buttercream into the centre one more time. To finish off the top of this cake I've got my last little bit of buttercream in a piping bag with a star nozzle and I'm going to pipe these sort of rings, these continuous shells around the top edge of the cake. Into the centre I'm going to spoon on some Biscoff crumbs, some crushed up biscuits and just sort of spread those out to the edge. Now the final, final finishing touch is I've got some uh, copper, goldy type lustre dust and I'm going to add in some vodka. Now you can use whatever clear alcohol you want and you're just going to mix that around to make a paint. Then I'm going to take a paintbrush and we're going to paint that all the way around the fault line, so on the bottom and also the top. And this really just brings the whole thing to life and it really 
uh, accentuates the fault line. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, you can hit the thumbs up button, you can subscribe by clicking here, or you can click here to see my last video, and here to see a video randomly selected by YouTube for you. Find the boy, settle down, not the same without you.